Hi and welcome to the first ever video tutorial for techpolice.com uh, In this tutorial what we're going to do is basically have a quick walkthrough on how to batch convert raw files from your digital camera to JPEG. Uh, the software we're going to be using is Photoshop CS6 although the process is exactly the same in CS3, 4 and 5. Uh, how long it takes really depends on how many images you've actually got, the size of them and obviously the power of your computer. Okay, so let's make a start and open up Photoshop. <clears throat> okay, so at the top, go File, Scripts, Image Processor. Okay, so let's start at the top. Now select your folder. Now preferably you've obviously got them all tucked away somewhere on the desktop, hopefully, so they're easy to find. So select your folder, desktop, and here's mine, War Files hit OK. Okay so now you're going to figure out where you actually want to save them to. Um, you can obviously select a, you know, a spare folder uh, say GG or whatever uh, but for myself I don't want to do that. I'm going to keep them in exactly the same location so I don't actually lose them. Uh, as for the file type obviously this is for JPEG you can save them to PSD or TIFF files if you like. Uh, by default the JPEG quality is going to be 5 um, that's pretty rubbish to be honest so we're going to keep it at the maximum which is 12 no resizing in this at all um, and then on preferences you've got run action uh, by default that's unchecked but if you have any actions yourself or you want to run some of the default actions that you get with Photoshop obviously go ahead and do that for myself not going to be doing that. Okay, so we're pretty much ready to go. Uh, now you just hit run, and that's it. The images uh, were taken in my hometown of Lewis, which is in the UK, uh, about I think it was about six in the morning. Uh, all of these, as you can see, they haven't been edited, I and mean, the images have actually been edited and they've been sent away. But uh, for this process, we're just actually going to convert them shouldn't take too long, I've only got 13 images here just to save some time really <clears throat> okay so there yeah, it's done right let's close out of Photoshop bring the images over okay so as you can see these are all the war files that I actually converted and it's created a separate folder for the JPEGs so let's open that up take a little look yeah it seems fine that's it. Okay, so, well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, I will be creating another one for actions, as someone asked me that on my site before. Um, uh, but I'll post that, obviously, sometime in the future. Okay, until then, thanks for watching. Bye.